Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I'm gonna be playing some Green Eustace Captain Kid. Um, I never really see anybody play this deck, and I kind of, you know, been in the slump about my decks recently. I, it's just that I've been playing my decks so much that I was like, okay, I need to play a different deck that I can make in real life, and it's just jank. Nobody plays it, so I was like, Green Captain Kid. I'm gonna play it. It was either that or Red Purple Kid, but Red Purple Kid I can't really make in real life just because I don't have the cards for it. Uh, and since uh, Eustace Captain Kid is mostly Supernova or Dofi package, uh, I was decided to run it. Um, so this deck list that I am actually running is from the Los Fiends channel. I'll link it in the description below and I'll include it at the end. The only changes I did make was that um, I added a I added two A-Drop Kids and I feel like I, I just love the A-Drop Kids. A-Drop Kids are probably one of my favorite cards in the game right now. Um, so early game it's just standard things you know we both played a searcher searched i went for his searcher he went for my searcher so standard um this whole deck list really focuses around me not needing board really uh if you look in my hand i have like uh you know i have some blockers and searchers and stuff right standard but i uh i have cards that pop or cards that rest so I really try to go for board control with this deck or uh you know if it's towards the end of the game and they have a blocker up i have those yamatos or even the x drakes if i can rest them uh just to deal with the blockers um but yeah other than that i really don't play much things on the board i kind of just swing like here uh turn two i think or turn three uh, I just swung 7k to to his life and then rested the three dawn and trashed a baby five searcher and swung another 7k so I'm really ag aggressive with the uh, leader um, so he swung 6k to me I took it and then he plays a, um, a Diamante and uh, here I kind of want to try to get rid of the Diamante but I know that with I'm, I'm trying to think of how I could try to get rid of him I could play the Yamato, but if I end up playing the Yamato, it's I'm not going to have enough Dawn to guarantee that kill. So I'm just going to swing 9k here and then use my leader effect again, probably trashing an extra just because I have two of them already and I don't need two right now. So I'm going to be swinging 9k to his face. We'll see if he either blocks it or counters out. Um, I know Doflamingos run, you know, Spider's Web or... Um, I forgot what's the other event card that they run, but Spider's Web and something else. Um, and he always gets that to rest or to dawn set as active again at the end of his turn. Punk Gibson, there you go. So he takes the first hit, and then second hit, he counters out with the Punk Gibson and a Sugar. Uh, so we take those. I'm glad to be getting those cards out of his hand in the early game just because I know once I set up for my late game and I'm going to try going for game, um, those cards can be annoying to deal with. Late game always usually revolves around the same plays. I just play the 10 drop Don Flamingo and then uh, set up for the last turn in which I could just swing three times big. Uh, what I love so much about the kid effect is that really I can just attach um, all my Dawn except for three, swing 12k to life, and then restand him, swing another 12k, and then if I have a Dofi on board, swing 10k. So it's really aggressive, and here I'm just like, okay, I could try to board up like block because i'm kind of getting low on life but instead i think i'm just gonna attach all of my dawn swing at the diamante and then restand it trashing probably a doflamingo or a bonnie searcher but probably a dofi just because i don't think i'll need two dofis here uh, especially with what little board he has and i know in the beginning he searched with uh baby five for a um what's it called um trying to remember it. bird cage he searched uh bird cage out of the baby five so I know that this guy was playing Birdcage Dofi and he's probably been waiting for me to play things so he can rest them and then play the Birdcage. But like this deck kind of counters that just because I don't need a board. So I'm just constantly swinging with leader, restanding it, swinging it again. And this guy can't really do much here. He can block her up, but I have that Yamato just in case he blockers up. And it's at the point where I don't even really need the Yamato. I can just keep swinging and eventually he has to start blocking. So he plays the 10 drop kid, freezing my leader. Sorry, 10 drop kid, uh, 10 drop Dofi, freezing my kid. Uh, and here it kind of took me a while. I was like, okay, what can I do here? Uh, I could board up and try to, you know, play a little bit more defensively. And then I was like, 
well green really he his deck doesn't really have much rush and here i was thinking maybe i can search for a uh airdrop kid so i can set up but yeah like at this point i was like green and uh, green and this deck in particular don't really have rush so i could probably just play a 10 drop tofi and freeze his leader and just take the the dofi swing so that's what i do i play the dofi freeze his leader and then i pass turn uh so what he could do and i think what he does do is he just uh blocks up i don't remember green purple yeah he's a uh, green purple yeah i think this is the game where he plays um a uh queen blocker so i think what he ends up doing is he just plays a queen blocker trashing the two cards and then or trashing I forgot if it's two or one cards, but he trashes the card and then he's probably just gonna swing with the Dofi leader. It's taken him a while though, but at this point of the game, I'm pretty sure it's already, it's like already GG's for me. Uh, just because if he plays anything, yeah, there's the queen. If he plays the queen, I have that Yamato to rest it if I really want to, which I end, I do end up doing, I'm pretty sure, but I don't wanna, you know, get into the, <laughs> the next turn when we're still dealing with this turn, so. Um, yeah, he plays the queen, trashes the birdcage, because he's realizing that the birdcage is not going to be good here. Um, and here I'm like looking at my hand like, oh, I have the Yamato for that queen, so uh, that's not that's free blocker. Or not free blocker, but uh, I get to rest that blocker for free. He just attaches all Dawn and swings uh, with Dofi to my life. I take it, because uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure like this turn I'm going to win here. So... Play the Yamato, resting the queen, and then I'm just gonna swing 10k to life. Let's see if he takes it. Mm. It's taking a while to decide if he wants to take it. So he counters out with a spider's web, and then he leaves. So yeah, uh, I kind of wanted to play that game till the end, but. Um, I guess I guess not but here in our second game we come into a Rob Lucci uh, it's been a while since I've seen a Rob Lucci so I'm not sure what to expect here but uh, first turn I play a Julia Bonnie searching a um, a law blocker and I just pass uh, I'm not gonna lie this guy's deck was kind of weird like I've never seen any of these cards or maybe it's just that I haven't played a Rob Lucci in so long that I don't know what their decks are anymore but I've never seen any of these cards in play. Like that card that he played, I, I don't even know what the name is. Uh, I'm trying to see if I could see it on the side of the chat there, but I, I don't remember what that card's name is. And then he plays like some vanilla cards that I've never seen played before. He probably is supposed to have them for counter or for his leader's effect, but it's whatever. He plays that character and w what it does is I think on player activate main, uh, you trash a card and KO a one cost or less. Okay, it's an on play. Yeah, you discard a card and uh, you uh, KO a one cost or less. So, um, not that it's annoying, but I kind of just I don't know what this deck is, so I want to get rid of it. So I just played an Ezo, resting it, and then swinging six K to it. And then he plays two Jerry's, and this threw me off because I was like, "What the fuck is this card? I've never seen this card in play. Uh, I've never seen that card in general. Like I didn't even know that was a thing. That this is the first time I've ever seen it. So." I was just hovering between them and I was like, okay, that's weird. Um, but I'm probably going to go for board here just because he doesn't really have much cards in hand and I don't really want to go for life right now uh, just so I can kind of starve him out. So I kind of want to go for his board here. And it does suck having to play a Yamato to rest the two cost, but I mean, it's whatever. So I swing 4k with the uh, Izo here to the Jerry. If he takes it, cool. I'll just swing with leader to leader. But if he doesn't, I'll swing my leader to his Jerry. He takes it, so I'm going to swing to his life with 6k, and he takes it. Here, I don't know if he gets a trigger or what, but uh, he's waiting. Okay, yeah, he did get a trigger. Um, he got air door trigger, which he uh, plays a 3 cost or less, I think. Uh, black character from his graveyard, and then trashes a card. So he trashes, um, fuck, what's that card called? Shockwave, I think it's called. It's what it's called. And he plays a Wanze. That's the name of the character. <laughs> he plays another Wanze. So here, I mean, in this deck, I I wasn't really seeing much minusing effects, which is crazy from a black deck. Um, so I wasn't really scared of the Wanze just because I felt like he couldn't really minus my my uh, stuff. So I'm not really worried. Um, 
he swings 6k here and then I counter out with the 2k he swings 4k to my Izo I let it go and then he swings again with the Rob Lucci effect trashing all of his cards in his hand so at this point I misplayed uh, thinking I could rest that uh, Bueno or I forgot what it's called but I misplayed it's whatever it happens uh, he has no cards in hand so I don't really have to attach Dawn to uh, to try to get rid of his things as long as I can even it out so uh yeah i'm just gonna swing probably at either the, the narrow or the wanze i swing at the narrow and then i'm probably just gonna use leader effect restand the kid and then get rid of that wanze get rid, getting rid of one of the law blockers because i really don't need all of them so yeah i clear his board and then play a rosinante just to be safe and then i have that one dawn extra so i mean i'm gonna bluff i guess that i have like a one counter or one k Sorry, I can't speak. A one Dawn event card, which I don't. I just, I didn't need to invest all that Dawn to get rid of his stuff. So it's whatever. So he top decks a uh, Kiku or a Kaku. Sorry, he top decks a Kaku and doesn't KO anything. Uh, but yeah, he play. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what this guy was doing, but yeah, he plays a Kaku and doesn't KO anything. I don't think he could. So he swings with Rob Lucci to my life, and I just block it. I was expecting him to use leader effect and then I remembered he has to trash two cards to uh, use it so he can't uh, So yeah, I top deck a Yamato. I'm gonna uh, Fucking Jesus Christ. I'm gonna rest his Kaku swinging 6k at it and then I'm just gonna oh, Okay, I'm going for full board. So I play a law blocker into a sugar and then uh, KO that narrow or not narrow uh, Jerry. Sorry. How could I forget such a lovely name in the one piece anime? Uh, so yeah, he top decks another card, top decks a Rob Lucci, sends Nero and, uh, is it, does he, okay, yeah, he sent Kaku and Nero to his bottom of the deck, and then he got rushed from it, so he swings 5 into my life, I block it, free block, and then he swings 7 into my, uh, Yamato, which I couldn't counter out, so I just let it die. So here, I'm just going for his board again, and then I play a, a drop kid, Swinging 5k at him and then resting the kid, choosing no targets. Um, and at this point, like, it was already like, okay, I have my board here. Like, this guy is gonna have so much trouble getting rid of my board, especially with little cards in his hand. And he just keeps playing everything or countering out, doing some jank stuff. So he has no cards in hand, so it's just free hits. Um, and here he's like trying to swing into me, but he he realizes that I have the age up kid and he has to swing into it, so. Um, he just passed the turn because he can't. Age of Kid, man, it's a it's a crazy card. It's really I I just love it so much. It's absolutely crazy, and I'm surprised they haven't made things like that again. I think the last thing that or the most recent thing that they're gonna make, and I think it's a promo card, is a mini version of Age of Kid. I think it's a six drop. Uh, it has the same effect pretty much. I think it's if you attach it on, you have to attack character cards named Eustace Captain Kid. So it's literally just a cheaper version of a drop kid. Um, which, I don't know man, it's interesting. But yeah, uh, here I'm just going for his life because I can't really go for his board. He ends up blocking with the Braino. Um, and then I'm just, you know, swinging with, I swung with life at five. He had to take, so he takes it. And then here I'm debating if I want to use the kid effect or not. Um, so yeah, I, I end up using the kid effect, and I could have used my leader effect to uh, restand him and then swing again. But I honestly couldn't go for game, and I kind of wanted to starve him even more. Because if I would have swung at him, he could have countered out, or he could have um, he could have just taken the life, which would have given him more cards in hand. And I don't want that, so I'm happy right now with his two cards in hand. So he swings 10k. I uh, block it with the Rosinante. Um, let's see. What I think the optimal play would have been giving the Dawn to his character and swinging at the kid, forcing me to block. But uh, he ends up playing a Kaku again, popping my sugar, oh no, and swings 6k at my 8k kid. So it's like, okay. Um, at this point, it's game. Like, I could go for the 10 drop Dofi play, but it's pretty much useless. So I swing 9k to him, and then I'm just gonna attach all my Dawn to my leader and swing at him and then I leave the three dawn up so I can restand my captain kid. 
here I was scared that he got a trigger. I was like, oh, okay, what if he like gets a blocker trigger or something, which in the end wouldn't have mattered. Um, so I swing 6k to his board just so I can be like, okay, it's GG. He actually counters out, so I was like, okay, whatever, free stand, boom, 11k. And I take it. Um, so yeah. And into our final match, I'm kind of sad that this match was cut short. He did end up leaving, um, but uh, we'll see. So into our final match, we have a uh, purple Luffy. And I was getting really hyped up. I was like, okay, I'm gonna let, let's see. Like this is one of the meta decks that I'm gonna be facing off. So let's see. And I didn't really. I could have gotten more footage, but I don't know. I feel like my games today were kind of good. Uh, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, we get into one of the meta decks right now. I guess you can kind of meta, but right now it's just Sakusuki and NL, and you know Pluffy. But uh, Pluffy sees very little play, I guess, compared to Sakusuki and NL. Um, but yeah, we're going second, so I play a Jewelry Bonnie search and get a uh, killer and then swing 7k to life. Uh, did he take that? I think he did. Uh, yeah, he did take it. And then he uses his leader effect to take a life and draw one dawn for it. Um, he's probably going to swing into my Jewelry Bonnie here just so he can clear the searcher. Yeah, so he swings 8k to a 1k body. I guess he had nothing to play there, so I'm just gonna swing 7k here, and he messes up. I won't lie. I swing 7k, and he was gonna counter out, but uh, I guess he miscounted or something, and he gave a 2k and then took the life. So, uh, so I'm using leader effect. I'm gonna probably trash the Bonnie, yeah, and then swing another 7k, and hopefully he doesn't mess up this time. So he gets rid of a 2k and another 2k. So I'm like, okay. Uh, I'll take those two Ks, um, getting rid of them early, so I don't have to deal with them later. Um, yeah, he's at two life already, and I'm at five life, and at this point, I was like, okay, I could take this, and I was debating on not taking it, because I wanted to keep my life advantage at five, but I take it, and I'm really happy I did, because I ended up drawing into a, a drop kid. Um, so he plays a Eustace Kid blocker, and uh, I really wanted to uh, to rest it, but I didn't have my Yamato in hand. So again, I'm just gonna swing big here, 9k, leave the three dawn up, and he ends up leaving the game. So I'm sad he didn't play it out, but it is what it is. Here's the deck list. Uh, like I said, I did kind of uh, copy it from the YouTube channel Los Fiends. Again, I'll link them down in the description. The only changes that I did make were the a drop uses Captain Kids. Um, I might tinker with this deck a little bit, but I feel like this deck is really good. It's really solid and I am really enjoying it. So I think I might leave it as it is. Um, but yeah, um, age up or age up kid. No, I mean age up kid. Yeah, he's uh, crazy strong. I love it. Uh, hopefully I just want to play more decks with age up kid, man. I love that card. Um, and Eustace Captain Kid leader is pretty good. I like it. Um, I'll probably be playing it more in the future just because I think it's one of those off meta or rogue decks, I guess that I'm really enjoying. So. Yeah, expect more of that or maybe you know i'll just make more decks and i'll find out like okay i kind of like this deck <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and again thank you all so much for the support recently on my videos it means so much to me um we're almost at 100 uh subscribers so hopefully we can get to it um but yeah thank you guys and i will catch you all in the next video peace out